happy back to school everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the new academic planner that just launched on my website. While I personally am not going back to school because I graduated a few years ago, maybe more than a few years ago, I designed what I wish that I had when I was in college. This digital planner is a weekly and monthly planner. You also have templates to organize your class schedule, track upcoming projects or exams, set goals, create vision boards, and take notes. This planner also has hyperlinks to each month, week, and separate template. This planner is perfect for those who want something simple, minimal, and easy to keep track of their tasks, but they still want something with fun and bright colors. I'm really excited about this planner. I love how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's walk through the planner together. When you download your planner and open it up, you'll see you have three different cover options with this planner. To make one of these designs the cover, all you have to do is choose your design and make it the first page of your planner, and then it will automatically become your new cover. So there are a few different options to choose from, so you can swap them out whenever you want, or you can delete them, it's really up to you, but I like to keep them all there and just swap them out whenever I want a little refresh. Then you have your Flourish Planner Guide, which has some FAQs, links to social, and your shortcut button guide, which will just show you where all of the different shortcut buttons lead to but of course you can just test these out yourself and get familiar with the planner to see what all the buttons lead to and then there's just some resources and you can easily access this page anytime by just clicking the little settings button down at the bottom right hand corner the next page is your year at a glance because this is an academic planner it goes from august to august 2023 to 2024 each rows of the week on your year to glance page are hyperlinked to the corresponding week within the planner, so you can easily go to this page and just quickly go to the weeks throughout the year. Then you have your important dates section, which is where you can just write in the important dates throughout the year, whether it's projects, exams, or social functions, you can just remind yourself of the important dates in this template right here. Then swiping over, we have some templates for your classes. The first template you'll see is your class schedule. This is just a classic class schedule layout. You can just write in the times on the left-hand side that your classes are on and then just fill in each of the dates so you can get a quick glimpse of what your weekly schedule looks like. And if you wanna have multiple of these templates for different semesters, all you have to do is copy the current template and you can have as many of these pages as you'd like. Then moving over, you have the deadlines and important dates section. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You just put in the date on the left-hand side of when you have your deadline for whether it's an exam or group project or anything like that. And then you just go through you put the class and what the project is. Then swiping over, we have our goals section. This is where you can get motivated and inspired for the semester or for the school year. First, you have a place to put your vision board. You can fill this with study inspiration, graduation motivation, or you can just brainstorm some fun ideas to do with your friends. Whatever you really want is what this template can be. And then swiping over, you have your goal section, which is just where you write in some of the goals you have for the year. This template is really simple and designed to just get right to the point so that you can see all of your goals at a glance. And if you want more detail, you can swipe over for the goal action plan, which is where you can really start to think through your goal and make a plan to achieve it. And now we move into the bulk of the planner, which is your monthly and weekly planning. Each month comes with a cute cover page, all with different colors. I had so much fun designing these and they're just really simple and colorful and I think they turned out really nice. Each month comes with a blank vision board, but you can also do a brainstorm. This is just your blank space to put anything you need that month. Then you move into your monthly planner. This is a Monday start planner and all of your hyperlinks to each of the weeks are on the left hand side. This is a dated planner, so you have all of the dates already set in there for you. You have a spot at the bottom where you can put your assignments, projects, tasks, exams, whatever you have that month, you can put in that little list there. And then of course you have a little blank space over to the right for notes and reminders. But overall, this is just your classic monthly layout where you can plan and prep for the month ahead and get organized. And then you have your weekly template, which is where you are going to get organized for the week. So you have blank spaces Monday through Sunday to put in a to-do list for each day. Also, each of the days within the weekly planner are dated. And then to the right-hand side, you have a long to-do list for the whole week. You have it separated by your top priorities, your school to-do list, and your personal to-do list. So you can make sure you're hitting all of the different buckets while also keeping track of those main priorities. And then at the bottom, you have a blank space for notes, reminders, or anything else you need. 
And this is perfect for students because you can get a quick glance at your week. I know when I was in college, I didn't have time to plan my day every day, and I just needed a quick glance at what was going on that week to stay on track and stay organized. So I think this will help some of you guys out there to organize the chaos that is school. And a student planner wouldn't be complete without a little notebook attached. So in the top right hand corner, you can access your notes. This just has a simple note sheet and you can use this to remind yourself of things or if you have ideas for projects or if you have brainstorming sessions, it's really up to you how you wanna use it and what works best for you. And that is the final student planner walkthrough. You can find this in my link below on my shop, theflourishplanner.com if you're interested. And if you're going back to school, I wish you all the best with your first semester. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.